CSD originally told us the town hall would only last about an hour, but after more than two hours, hundreds of parents were still inside. I was able to catch up with a few who were on their way out, and many told me they left disappointed and frustrated. And I felt um, humiliated. I felt embarrassed and I was hurt. Hundreds of parents voiced their concerns after racist threatening posts like this one made the rounds on social media. You shouldn't have to send your kid to school to get an education and they're being ridiculed, ridiculed because of their color of their skin. The post targeted black students at Arborview High School last week. CCSD police quickly arrested two students, but parents said the problem goes beyond them. If all parents monitor their kids better, you know, Check their phones, put a block on their phones, check their backpacks. So Arborview set up a town hall to hear from parents and staff. Coming today really opened my eyes that it is a community problem. I waited outside and saw some parents storm out. Others stopped to tell me what happened. You know, to be honest with you, I was really disappointed. Basically, they wasn't given the exact answers that the parents were seeking. CCSD sent me an outline of the school's plan to address the problem. It includes adding another dean who will focus on cultural issues, creating various forms of student outreach, and holding all adults and students accountable for what's been learned. High school is hard no matter what color you are. One parent told me she supports what the school is trying to do, but she thinks more parents need to hear hear the message. I was sitting there and looking around the room and the majority of the community there being representative was um, African American. I think that the problem is so deeply rooted and it just it's not going to be solved tonight. Arborview's plan is called the cultural turnaround process. It'll be evaluated every 90 days. We have the full outline of that plan along with CCSD statement on our website fox5vegas.com. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.